Um, we meet every week and we talk about all of the cases that are coming through and make decisions on what, which cases we want to hear and, and want to have oral argument on. Um, the other part of our job is the administrative function, and that involves um, deciding what rules apply to all of our trial courts, um, as well as specialized areas that we serve as liaisons to. And so we all come with, with various um, experience and, and backgrounds, and it really helps when we're interacting and when we're talking about cases so that we are sharing um, our perspectives on things and, and, and um, able to kind of fill in those blanks where we might not have had that experience as a, as a practicing attorney. Um, it's, a, it's a great job, it's a, it's a lot of work, um, but it's, it's, it's uh, I think we have a, a tremendous court um, with, the, with the seven of us, we work incredibly well together. We disagree on a lot of things, um, but we do so respectfully. And I, I, my goal and the goal of, I think, all of my colleagues is to make sure that anything, any decisions that come from the Michigan Supreme Court are the best decisions, even when we disagree. So where I might be writing something and I'm writing the majority opinion and we have judges or justices that are, that are dissenting, that back and forth between us and what we're writing only strengthens um, the, the opinions that come from the court. And it's really important because the people of Michigan and, and uh, trial judges and attorneys, they wanna know what the law is and what the rules are. Um, and so it's our job to make sure that, that, we're, that we're doing that. Um, and I, think, and I, I personally think that our court does a very, very good job at it. Um, so I, that's kind of a, a brief background of, of how, what my career path looked like and, and what I do now. Does, does anybody have any questions about um, the Michigan Supreme Court or, or the courts in general and how they operate? Justice Clement, someone had asked, um, what is the process of deciding cases? Do you debate with the other justices and come to conclusions? Um, so we conference, like I said, every Wednesday. Um, and, and at conference, we have about 20 to 30 cases that, um, that are prepared for us beforehand. Um, so I get, I get memos from all of my clerks on those um, you know, 20 to 30 cases. And I work on those um, for about a week before we conference. Um, sometimes we send memos or emails to, to one another, to the other justices. Um, kind of highlighting, you know, what we have concerns with or what we think we should do with the case. And then when we come to conference on Wednesday, we, the seven of us sit around the table and we go through each and every single case and we vote on them. Um, and so some of them are, you know, there's agreement of, of what to do, whether that's, um, you know, this isn't the, the right case to take up this issue. So we're going to deny um, and, and not hear the case. Um, or it might be that, that, a majority of the court or, or, you know, enough justices have an interest in it. And so sometimes there is debate at that point in time of whether or not it's something that we should, a case that we should hear or something that, um, that, that we should not hear at that time. So we vote on it. And if it's something that we're, we've decided that we're going to hear, um, we set that for oral argument and give the parties enough time to brief the case. So if we, if we heard, um, Tomorrow at conference, let's say we had a case that we were interested in hearing, we would set that on our oral argument schedule and that would probably be heard um, at this point in, in how the cases line up, it might be heard in like January or, or March of this coming year. So there's a, there's a, a fairly large um, uh, uh, time frame um, but between when the case first comes to us and we make a decision on what we're going to do with it and until we hear oral argument. Now, if it's a case that we're going to deny on, um, and so let's say or justices say, you know, we think the Court of Appeals got this opinion right and we're not gonna take this case. If, if any of the three justices that disagreed with that felt strongly enough, they could write uh, what we call a statement. Um, so if they were dissenting, they could write a statement and that would go out um, with that denial order. So if we were to deny a case tomorrow um, and there was a, a statement that someone wanted to include in that, that usually takes a couple of weeks and then that would get attached to that denial and then and would go out pretty quickly. So what happens to a case if it's denied by the Michigan Supreme Court? So if a case is denied, um, the Court of Appeals decision in that case stands. So if, if a case um, starts at the trial court level and let's say um, the, the plaintiff wins, if it goes to the Court of Appeals and the Court of Appeals says, yes, trial court got this right, plaintiff wins, and it comes to us and it's not a case that we think 
either the Court of Appeals got, got wrong or that it's the right case for us to take up that issue and we deny it, that decision by the Court of Appeals becomes the final decision at that 